Have you ever wondered how machines consistently give you the same result? Think of a coffee maker, it takes beans and water and gives you coffee. In math, functions are like these reliable machines. Today, we'll unlock the world of functions. We'll define them, use their special notation, and discover their input and output limits. Let's dive in and explore. So, what exactly is a function in math? It's a specific kind of relationship. Every input has exactly one output. Imagine a vending machine. Press A1, you get one specific snack. No more, no less. Here, inputs map to single, unique outputs. See how each input has only one arrow pointing away. This is a function. 1 maps to A, 2 to B, 3 to C. But this isn't a function. Input 1 has two different outputs. Now, let's talk function notation. We use f, x, read as f of x. f is the function's name, x is the input. f, x, is the output you get for input x. Let's try an example. f, x, equals 2x plus 3. If x is 1, then f, 1, is 2, 1, plus 3, which equals 5. If x is 0, then f, 0, is 2, 0, plus 3, which equals 3. We can plug in any number for x and find the output. What about the domain and range? The domain is the set of all possible inputs, our x values. The range is the set of all possible outputs, our y values. On a graph, the domain stretches along the x-axis. The range covers the y-axis. For f, x, equals x squared, any real number can be an input. So, the domain is all real numbers. The range is all non-negative numbers. Outputs can't be negative. Functions can be shown in many ways. We can use equations like y equals 2x plus 1, or tables showing input-output pairs. Graphs give us a visual story of the function, and mapping diagrams, like we saw earlier. Here's a quick check. Is 1, 2, 2, 4, 3, 2 a function? Yes, each input has only one output. It's okay for different inputs to have the same output. So, we've learned functions or relations with unique outputs for every input. We've mastered function notation, f, x, and defined domain and range. You can now define and identify functions. Practice makes perfect. Keep evaluating functions. Next, we'll explore linear, quadratic, and exponential functions.